Hello and welcome to Super Smash Bros. League, Season 3, Preseason Week 3. I'm Snuffy Sam and I'm joined today by... Donut. Hello everyone. Alright, and this is the last week before it counts. Mm -hmm. uh, this is team's last chance to get uh, any last minute testing in and figure out who they want to, uh, who they want to cycle their benches between. And, uh, you know, what stages they want. That's, that's also a big, big thing. Yeah, stages, stages are going to be really big coming into, um, the season, right? I know King of Fighters have been mm -hmm. quite popular as of late. So. Yeah. And, uh, there might be a new King of Fighters <laughs> stadium, uh, True. similar stage coming soon. But we'll, we can talk about that later. Um, uh, for now, let's just get into match one. Glad to do this. And match one is Classic Mode Champions versus Team Retro. So, uh, what are your thoughts here? Classic Mode Champions uh, benched Captain Falcon. While Team Retro bench, uh, uh, Simon. Okay, so both pretty strong benches, right? Um, mm -hmm. Both some like these like slower but very hard hitting characters. So that's very interesting on that front. Mm -hmm. I, I do lean it towards um, classic mode, I think. Um, so I do have characters like um, Link who can really pop off as a, as we've seen before. But you don't, you can't sleep on Retro with the pirate ship and with Doctor Mario, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like it, it's all—it's also a thing because with classic mode champions, I feel like Sheik has been torn apart every single week so far. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Luigi hasn't fared much better. Whereas Retro, mm -hmm. like they've had their ups and downs, but every character has proven in the preseason that they can work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also interesting to note that while Link is one of the stronger characters, he's not against Pac-Man, right? Who has Ender Dragon, so that's easy chip damage onto him. Yeah. So that's we got to get him out very fast, right? Yeah, but I suppose let's just get into the match. Mm -hmm. uh, Classic Mode Champions versus Team Retro. Okay. The audio is a little desynced on my end, but that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Gotcha. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I can fix them first. Yes. Uh, so, so Link versus Pac-Man. Yeah, we're starting off with Link versus Pac-Man. Uh, Link having strategist style Halberd and Golgan, which is the build he normally has. Yes, yeah, Halberd's really strong on, on Link. Uh, and uh, Pac-Man already getting in that chip damage with uh, uh, with the Ender Dragon, Dragon. though of course yeah. uh, with uh, Halberd, a lot of that's going to be cancelled out. Yes. But still easy chip and allows for um, some later KOs if, if possible, right? Mm -hmm. That may not have come. Yes, uh, he's gotten Link up to about 60%, but Link's gotten him up to over 50 as well. Yeah. Oh! And that's really sad if you're Pac- if you're Pac- Minda. Yeah, that's that's something with his up special that really doesn't come up often. Where if mm -hmm. you bounce on it too much, you just die. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see if Pit can fail, fail a little bit better. Yeah, so... Uh, Pit. Uh, getting Link up to 80% and he's managed to stay... Oh, uh, no, never mind. He's at, he's at 50 now. Okay. He was doing well. <laughs> it was 20% like 2 seconds down out to 70. So, well, yeah. alright, that's fine. Uh, that's, that's how it is with Link. He just hits you a few times. He's not even entirely built for his sword. And he can still yeah, like, not really do that. I think yeah, he didn't even use the um, the up um, attack right, that he does with the three hits. Yeah. Um, oh, Pit misses the final smash. That's really unfortunate. That would have killed, right? Oh, yeah, that would have that would have killed. I mean, there's the tent, but yeah, it would have killed probably. Uh, but he gets another one. We got another chance. Yep. Here we go. Okay, this time he connects there it and is. All right. yeah, it kills. Pit. But it's still a lot of damage taken, so Luigi should be able to find a KO here pretty soon. Yeah. You'd okay. imagine, right? And on the other end, Pit, uh, you're gonna, Pit's gonna have to put in work. Uh, Luigi's got brick wall style Geese Howard. 
I think he's gonna oh, want to. Yeah. Uh, oh, both die. Uh, both died. Uh, that evens it up in percent, so that's uh, really good for retro. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really what they needed, right? To get back into this. So we'll see if um Sheik can fare better than what he has in the what they have in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Sheik is running Big B style Sothis, which I believe is new for her. Uh, both of those, uh, I believe. Both the Big B style and the Sothis. And uh, Peach is running Land style Gold Mario on level 8 AI, uh, which is what she's run for the past couple weeks, to uh, decent success. Okay. I would say. Yeah, the Sothis will be able to cancel out if Peach gets that healing um, final smash, right? That'll cancel mm -hmm. out, you would imagine. So. Yeah. If you if you even you know eat the food, but yeah, I, I mean so, something with a, I mean something with a Peach to note is that with uh, Gold Mario, it stops working once you're at high percent, but with Peach you can heal. Yeah, so which just, just get, refreshes it. Uh, just get a yeah. longer Gold Mario. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is That's something that not like that. not every character can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very nice building from um, the side of that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, connects with an up smash, which is of course boosted uh, thanks to her uh, land style. Uh, right now, she's keeping it pretty even with Sheik. Uh, Sheik has managed yeah. to bring Peach up to 70, actually. Oh, but the counter. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you want to be able to kill, kill her before she hits that 100, right? So you're running out of time here if you are on Peach's side. Yeah, and of course, uh, oh, <laughs> yep, that's yep. what happens yep. if you don't if you don't do yep. that. Um, and yet yeah, on uh, Sheik's side, yeah, she's gonna want to kill uh, Peach before she hits her final smash, because mm -hmm. it's basically <laughs> basically the same principle. Yes. Now of course Peach has to actually use it and then eat the food, right? Mm -hmm. But the potential is right there. Yeah, she's been pretty good about that the past uh, little bit. She's usually eaten like two fruits. Mm -hmm. Oh, stage one. And. That's fine. All right. And she connects with another counter. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, she's like getting some damage onto Sheik. Sheik's charging up her final smash though, uh, which could take out Peach uh, quickly if she doesn't use her. her uh... Oh! Oof. And there, there goes is. Peach, and right. Sheik has her final smash charged. Mm -hmm. And in which comes. But well, plus Samus, yeah. Yeah, in comes Samus. Uh, this week using sort of a fusion suit. Uh, themed costume, uh, probably because of the new game that was announced. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, nice I mean, chip damage with the final smash. Yeah, uh, got got some damage on with the final smash. Uh, Samus is running uh, strategist style Halbert and Silver the Hedgehog. Okay. Yeah. Which has done well this past couple weeks. Uh, right now she's gotten Sheik up to fairly high damage, but. Uh, she she needs to do a little better than that. She's already taken 30. And, uh, Samus does have a charged shot that she fires into the tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now all this stuff that Sheik is doing is just gravy right now, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to set up for Mario to come in yeah. and clean up. But you don't want that to stack up too quickly if you are Samus. Yeah, like, in theory, like, Dr. Mario can go through two people if he needs to, but, like, yes, with no. Samus, you really want to help bring this back a bit so that mm -hmm. Dr. Mario has a bit more room to breathe. Yeah, we, we've seen Dr. Mario dove gold and, and um, diamond before, right? So mm -hmm. we know we can do it, you just want to get it to that point. Yeah. And Samus is already up to 70%. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sheik is up at 103, which is kill percent, given how light she is and how strong Samus can be, but... Oh, no, she doesn't oh. make it back. Yep. Just fine. Uh, and I think that's really gonna kill. Yep, now. it kills. Yeah. And in comes Mario. Mario's at 30%. Uh, he could very easily take out Samus right now, if we're being honest. Oh, definitely. He uh, does have that kill potential. And why is oh, Mario she running? misses the charge shot. 
uh, Mar oh, Mario is running Gravity Style, Meloetta, and Majora's Mask. Gotcha, okay. So, so yeah, we saw the healing, healing coming. Yeah. Yep. And Samus has her final smash on deck. If she connects with oh. it, this could kill. He's at 60. Ow. Especially yeah. if she faces the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, she just has to use it. She just has to use it. I mean, she could use it. Anytime. Uh, yeah, just a couple seconds left, and it's gone. <laughs> and, well, okay. That's fine. And that, that's time, Samus. What do you have next time? Yeah. Uh, that was an attempt. Yeah. That was an attempt made. It's okay. Her grabs are really powerful when she's connecting with them. That, that, uh... Oh, definitely. That Silver the Hedgehog is really helping her out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that grab combos nicely, right? Yeah, uh, she doesn't combo it into that forward air, but she does connect with the down air, uh, bringing Mario up to about 87. She takes him out! Wow, okay, yeah. So we're talking about what Samus had to do. Did more than enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in comes Yoshi. Yeah. And yeah, and Samus can just get a little bit of damage onto him, then Dr. Mario can bring it. And meanwhile, from Yoshi's perspective, he needs to get this kill. Dr. Mario is one of the yeah. scariest characters in the league. Yes. But it's interesting because you have the. The idea of these, um, the free 30%, right? You mm -hmm. obviously get the, the boost to, like, you know, defense or attack all around, right? Yeah. But it makes it that much easier to kill, which is what we're seeing here now for Samus. Yeah, so Yoshi uh, is running Air Style, Twin Tail, Beat, and Shedinja, so he also started with 30%, though at least he gets mm -hmm. extra defense from it. Yes. Oh, is that it? Nope. Yeah. Stay in the lab. Yep, and um, he's gotten Samus up to 150 and still hasn't gotten the kill, and this is a pretty big stage. I feel like she could probably rack up some more damage before he manages to get it. Yeah, and depending on how this goes, Dr. Mario may not have to step onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Which would be shocking, right? It would be really Which, nice for Samus. Yeah, that would be very, very, uh, a very good sign for Samus, very good sign for Team Retro. Uh, yeah, Yoshi after, is at uh, 100. He's still living, though. Two. He's a fairly yeah, heavy cat. He does take out oh. Samus. Okay, okay, so Dr. Mario does have to come in. Yeah, and Yoshi could bring this back. Mm-hmm. Very possible. I mean, this is a stage that's fairly easy to get gimps on as well. Mm -hmm. We got uh, earlier, right, with Pac-Man. Yeah, we've seen people just sort of get pushed off the stage. Uh, but Yoshi already at 100... <laughs> 140% and he hasn't really touched Dr. Mario yet. Dr. Mario running Boulder Style and Sothis, so... Oh, oh Sothis, oof. So, he, he, uh... Yeah, so right now he doesn't really have a build, and you can see what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, and the Dr. Tornado is so powerful. Yep. It really is. So many hits with that, it's hard to block. Yeah, the oncoming storm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what one might call it. And. Well, he's on 3%, so that's something. Good job, yeah. Yoshi. Oh, uh, yeah, Yoshi's got him up to 12. <laughs> hey, there we go. All right. And there's the up smash. <laughs> yep, there it is. Yep. Just, it was about a matter of time, right? Uh, well, congrats to Retro. Really nice. Nice comeback. Yeah, so c congratulations to Team Retro. I believe this is their first win uh, in the preseason, so that's good for them. Uh, Classic Mode Champions, I believe, also went uh, 1 and 2. Yes, they so, went 1 um, and 2. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, um, strong showing from both teams. I honestly can't think of any uh, specific areas. Like, Mario kind of got countered by Samus, but he's still a pretty good character, I would say. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Sheik and, did perfectly fine, right? Uh, Sheik did perfectly uh, fine. Uh, Luigi... Okay, Luigi wasn't great. Uh, Lu yeah, Luigi, did, Luigi did kind of fall in a hole. Okay. And um, so did Yoshi. Yoshi kind of struggled a little bit too. Yeah. Uh, but, um. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh. Yeah, I mean, hopefully these teams have what they need to go into the season. Mm hmm. On to the next match. Let's do this. So match two is Super Bash Sisters versus Team Mystic. Mm -hmm. So looking at the lineups, it looks like Palutena is benched for the sisters. 
And Rosalina is benched for Team Mystic. Okay, so two similar characters in style. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, and it's like more floaty type characters, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, what are your thoughts? How do you think this is going to shake out? Um, I think this will be pretty close overall. Um, you still have characters like Isabel, who we know can pop off, right? And we have mm -hmm. other characters like Coin and um, Kira, who has been doing pretty well in past seasons. So I'm very yeah. curious to see how this will go. I think it will be very close. Mm -hmm. My thinking is, Violet is in the back of the lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, if she is anything like she was last week, then uh, it won't really matter what Mystic has. It won't really matter how many oh. characters Mystic has left. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. That, that is my take, if she's anything like she was last week. Mm -hmm. So let's just... Maybe Violet's going to use Step Out. We'll find out. Yeah, let's just get into it. Super Bash Sisters versus Team Mystic. Okay. So we're starting off with Alex versus Corrin. Alex is running Boulder Style and Gold Mario. Corrin is running Demon mm -hmm. Style, Golgan, and Halberd. Okay, all right. So, um, uh, Corrin is going to be more of a damage output character, but she's going to have trouble getting combos in on Alex. Yes. Uh, her stun's that, um, not going to work. The, the, yeah, that, that's the, the armor will help that a lot, right? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Oh, but that's a nice damage already. The ma yeah, the magma <laughs> block. <laughs> it's so funny watching um the Minecraft characters, right? Yeah. Just, just fight. That's so troll, but there it is, I guess. Yeah, that and really uh, nice comeback. Yeah, I mean, Alex still just has wooden tools, uh, which is why she hasn't really dealt much damage. Just try and drop TNT on corn. Yep. <laughs> just casually <laughs> drop a load of TNT. You know, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, there's nothing unusual yeah. here. And yeah, well, like, the like, below. like Corrin is shooting those uh, stun, wa uh, stun uh, water bubbles, right? Mm -hmm. But like they just don't do anything because of the gold Mario. Yeah. Yep. Like paralyzers oh. just aren't working. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, uh, next to the uh, wow. next to the minecart and combos that into the magma block. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow, okay. Okay, Alex survived that. That would have been insane if she died from, from a move she didn't need to do. <laughs> but there you go. And, and yeah, right, now up goes magma just... blocks, and now she has iron tools. Mm -hmm. So that much more damage. Oh, almost died there. It's fine. <laughs> oh, and uh, Hero connects oh, with a okay. sizzle, oh. but that doesn't kill. And now, uh, wow. oh, never mind. The, the oh, apples. Apples. Okay. <laughs> so if, uh, yeah, honestly, at fifty-one percent, if Alex had connected with her final smash there, it might have been end for Hero. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds really low, right? Like that's a load of Bowser, right? But yeah. it does a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it just well, just docks across the stage entirely. Yeah. And uh, Hero right now is running Forgetful Style, Balrog, Reaper, and Repet, and Zapfish. So I meant to sort of be towards his uh, side special a bit more, and his, uh, and, and you know a bit, a bit of his neutral special. And Pikachu is running Gravity Style, Numa, and Zapfish. What does Numa do? Uh, Numa is a bit like Great Fairy. Uh, okay. It activates at eighty percent, and it heals you by thirty percent, and it also gives you metal. Gotcha. So, okay. As we see here. Yeah. So you become much heavier for a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is a. <laughs> I was I was about to realize this is a very bad matchup to be metal in, because Hero yes, does have a move that one hit kills you. Yes. Whoops, and but uh, well, he is gone now. Yeah, he is. He's not doing that, I guess. Yeah. And uh, Zelda. Yeah. So we've got a Zelda strategist style Soren Weezing Shine Sprite. So special moves, and uh, all her magic moves. So her lightning kicks. Uh, uh, her her explosion moves like her up special stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, her up her up uh, air rather. Yeah, Pichu is doing something really nice there, doing that nice chip damage right from, mm -hmm. from, from the fire. Yeah, three percent at a time. Yeah. Adds up fast. Yeah, like he's really con connecting with these aerials, comboing with these aerials. She's really uh, bringing Zelda up there, and Zelda needs to 
start connecting with stuff. She need, Like, if she hits with a side special... Like, that's the thing. Her side specials will do a lot of damage with how she's built, yeah. but Pichu, Pikachu is just so small. Oh, Final Smash has... And... Fortunately, this is King of Fighters oh. Stadium, so that wasn't death for Pikachu. <laughs> Oof, that would have been... We've seen that happen before, right? Well, we've seen that happen a lot. Pikachu does uh, kill herself with her own Final Smash quite a lot. Yeah. Yes. Sadly for... for <laughs> and uh, Zelda connecting with that throw, but she's already at 115%. Mm -hmm. And in comes yeah, so Wendy O. Koopa. Yeah, we <laughs> should be able to, to uh, take care of business here. Just like that. Oh my goodness. So, up special, up special to back air, I think that was. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, now stage one. Mm -hmm. As I'm assuming to be fine here. Yeah, so we've got uh, uh, Wendy with the strategist style, a Halberd, and Twintel. Uh, Ness is running uh, tank style, uh, Ness's father, and Psyduck on level 8 AI. Okay. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so his Ness's father Not has run off by now. Uh, but you know. Uh, hey. And. Yeah, Super Mario Sisters is just extending this lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Very solid. Too. But never we still have um um we still have Bob up in the back, right? We haven't got yeah. to them. It's like oh, now what you want to see if you missed it there? Yeah, like I I feel like these first three have kind of been the weaker members of Super Bash Sisters, uh, at least given the preseason. And. uh... And Team Mystic already went through most of their strong members. Shulk is the only one remaining. And Shulk is still a fine, fine member, right? Oh, that's that a might lot kill. of people. It oh no, that's not good uh -uh. for Mystic. No, it's not. You have to two v one here, and Isabel's not here to want two v one against. Yeah, and Byleth. And Byleth, I'm not even talking about Byleth, right? Mm -hmm. And so, he's still at thirty percent. This is whew, a pill battle. Yeah, so Shulk is running Boulder Style, Majora's Mask, and Azura, which is his typical build. Uh, Isabel is actually running an experimental build, uh, Demon Style, Weezing, Deep Breathing, and Candy Kong. So oh, she's wow. meant to do a lot of damage with her down B, uh, in particular, and just a lot of damage in general. Oh. Yeah, I racked up a lot of percent already. Mm hmm. Almost at 100 now, well, wow. alright. Yeah, and it's uh... It's still technically possible. It's still technically possible. Um... I am not entirely sure uh, Shulk can do this. Um... Oh, okay, I was saying. Yeah, yeah, Is Isabel, uh, Isabel's recovery goes really far. And now he has a Buster Art, which means he's going to be taking a lot more damage. Is the thing. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna find a way to, um... Oh, uh, if he had, if he had stepped on that, uh, if he steps on one willing mine, I think he's dead. Mm-hmm. One like that, this percent, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the back air takes him out. She didn't even need her yeah. candy kong. All right then. And yeah, um, so if I'm Super Bash Sisters, I'm feeling really good about this. I think. Like, yeah, that was a very dominant performance from them. Like, okay. Like, Alex is looking very good, taking out Corrin, who's uh, arguably the scariest member of Mystic. Mm -hmm. uh, Pikachu was looking solid, Wendy was looking solid, Isabel is looking yes. great even on this experimental build. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got Byleth and uh, Palutena, who are arg arguably in uh, Super Bash Sisters' top three. I mean, Byleth especially. Yes. Uh, who we didn't see, and I think that's that's a really uh, strong place going into the season. Definitely, yeah, they're looking very solid, very solid. Could definitely be a top top echelon team here. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, on the other end, we've got Mystic. Like, the thing is, like nobody did really terribly. It, it, yeah. Like Corrin was able to do some damage. Uh, Shulk was able to get some damage in. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just. That they just couldn't handle it, and like, uh, particularly their strong characters couldn't handle it. And then once you get into sort of their weaker characters, uh, it gets a bit harder. Mm -hmm. so I'm very yeah, I think they, really, they needed um, Quan to um, 
get that lead and mm -hmm. be able to take over the match from there. But honestly, watching Alex just with no, the armor. You know, honestly, you know what they needed? They needed someone who can eat projectiles. <laughs> they needed someone who can eat those slingshots. They needed someone who can eat the mm -hmm. cannonballs from Wendy or, or the yeah. uh, neutral bees from Pikachu. Someone like Rosalina, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> that, that was the play, that right? <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess what this did is it helped them figure out uh, who to bench when they do face Super Bash Sisters, for real. So uh, that that might be something Super Bash Sisters need to look out for. True, definitely. Mm -hmm. On to the Just next match. Just be used as scouting material. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it. yeah. On to the next match. So match three is Team Pine Size versus. Third wheels. All right. And um, <coughs> yeah. So both these, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, both these teams are undefeated so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Pine Size benched Young Link, who um, kind of just uh, died as soon as he spawned last week. So it's hard to tell. I, I mean, he clearly hasn't at least been contributing to their wins. True. And third wheels bench. Uh, who did they bench? Uh, Bayonetta. Yeah, who uh, oh. ha, who did pretty well last week, I would say. So that might be a bit of a detriment to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you? They thinking? still have a really strong lot. They still have a really strong roster, right? Third wheels does. Mm -hmm. They have like Banjo and mm -hmm. and Sephiroth, but right? they have yes. characters who can really pop off. But on uh. hindsight sides, they have you no know, Villager and um, and Ice Time is out front. So I'm yeah. interested to see how those. Um, are able to do it against Banjo. That'd yeah. be a really interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's also interesting. Uh, Pine Size is using a new map this week, Delfino Plaza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a little bit of a janky map with its uh, sort of walk offs and stage transitions and swimming. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's. I mean, if it works for them. Yeah, if it does the job, why not? Yeah, so I guess let's just get into the match. Let's do it. Yep, Team Pine Size versus Third Wheels. Alright, and we're starting off with Ice Climbers versus Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, two, uh, right. uh, two, uh, duo characters, oddly enough. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, um... So Ice Climbers are running Demon Style, Golgan, and Halberd. Banjo is running Bigby Style and Gold Mario. Okay. So sort of a all-around damage dealer versus a tanky uh, armor character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, very, it's actually similar to Quan versus Alex from last match, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, types of builds. Yeah, so we'll so. see if uh, it shakes out the same way. Mm -hmm. So far, they started even again, so... Yeah. And we saw the um, old Mario kind of um, take over towards the later stages. Yeah, I mean, there is sort of a bit of invisible uh, uh, sort of damage when you're dealing with this uh, matchup because you don't really know how much uh, Banjo's dealt to Ice Climbers. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Banjo's dealt to Nana, uh, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like... For all we know, I feel like it's been hitting Nana quite a bit. For all we know, Nana is like one hit away from getting uh, taken out. Yeah. But uh, Banjo is all the way up to 94%. Yeah, very fast, right? Uh, so shaking out a little bit different than last, um, last match here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Um... Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, that was a bit, a bit of an odd decision uh, to use that uh, Wonder Wing. You only got five of those, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he but, thought it's the time. Right now we're in a walk-off, which could spell doom for one of these characters. Definitely could be. And there goes Banjo. That's a danger. Oh, uh, that is okay, taking then. the first stock. And in comes Victor Bowman. Wow. Which can do a lot of damage quickly. Yeah, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't manage to pressure the ice climbers into uh, not being able to recover. 
but he does connect with that axe. Yikes. And one, one scary thing about his uh, projectiles is that they go through both. So he's essentially dealing yes. double damage. Oh, wow! Uh -huh. <laughs> well... <laughs> that's... Uh, that's <laughs> no one died, it's okay. Uh, I might have. It looks funny as hell, but it's all good. Oh my goodness. And uh, right now we're on a King of Fighters Stadium, which is Third Wheel's home map. So interestingly mm -hmm. enough, uh, we're probably going to get... I mean, we're going to get another fighting game character soon, Kazuya from uh, uh, from uh, Tekken. And uh, yes. he's coming with a stage that seemed to have a similar gimmick with the walls, mm -hmm. uh, where you could break through them. So it would be interesting to see if we get something similar, maybe uh, something with a lower ceiling or smaller dimensions, right? Was be interesting to see how teams utilize that, right, going forward, mm -hmm. if they want to. Yeah, it'll also be interesting to see how they utilize uh, Kazuya in general. Uh, Kazuya will yeah. be a uh, Kazuya will be a mercenary that can be hired uh, uh, during the season. Mm -hmm. And there's Ice Climbers. So oh, Ron and there goes Victor. Yes. Oh, and all right, still full character lead. Yeah, still a full character and lead. Mental. Sonic needs to put in work to bring it back against. Uh, Killager, as he's known. Yes, and that's not a character you want to be coming back against mm -hmm. <laughs> by any means of imagination. Yeah. So, especially since Sonic is a bit of a chip character, uh, Sonic is running tank style, Happy Mask Salesman, Rock Mario, and Beat. So, sort of all around damage, but Villager is running strategist style, Meloetta, and Shine Sprite. And you can see that Sonic is having trouble getting any damage to stick on Villager. Yeah, I do see that Meloetta just count up anything he's doing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so like, it's, it's interesting because there are uh, five teams that uh, will be able to pick up Kazuya uh, come next season. Okay. Uh, the, those being uh, Mystic, uh, Third Wheels, Athletes, uh, Beefcakes, and uh, Villains. Oh, and there goes yep. Sonic, just oh. falls off okay. uh, due to the down. stage jank. Wow, okay, so Sephiroth comes in. And Sephiroth has a lot of work he needs to do if he wants to bring yeah, this back I, I don't know much Villager. about Sephiroth. Um, how has Sephiroth been doing? Um, uh, Sephiroth's been doing player. quite well. I mean, he's been... Okay. Ha has anyone even gotten through him uh, in the, in the first two sure. preseason weeks? Uh, I think they have. Yeah, but like, okay. uh, if only a little bit. But like, he's been, he's been a monster, honestly, uh, in this preseason because... Like, he's running Brick Wall style uh, Meloetta and Golgan. Okay. And, like, the thing is, like, he's got that auto heal and he's got that high defense with lowered offense, but his kit is such high damage that, like, it doesn't matter how low his <laughs> offense is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and he hits Villager with the Octo Slash, but does not get the KO. Okay. And Villager has the final oh. smash on deck. If he connects this in the right direction, this could kill. Definitely could kill, even though it's so low uh, um, percent, right? Yeah, but I mean, this is a walk-off right here. Yeah. So it does not matter how how much percent you have if you just get off the stage. Mm -hmm. and, but um, I use the smash. Yeah, I mean, right now, uh, Sephiroth is actually behind in damage against Villager. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. uh, surprising given how well Sephiroth's been doing, but this is another well letter character, I suppose. Yep. And remember, there's still two characters ahead right now. Mm -hmm. So, very yeah. concerning if you're on the side of um, Mystic over here. Well, not Mystic. Um, uh, uh, third uh, Wheels. Third Wheels. The Third Wheels. Oh, and, and uh, Sephiroth thankfully dodges that Fireworks Cannon. He really needs to connect with a, a Charged Neutral Beat. Like, that will kill. Or, or like yeah. an Octo Slash. Uh, get, get him off the stage. Keep pressuring him with those. Instead, Sephiroth's really not doing anything. He's got his funny final He's smash. Will really connect with it? Oh. And will it do anything? We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> that is always the question. It's a lot of uh, he, he got the, uh, 
Got the Shadow Flare up. And he connects with the funny Final Love Smash. It. He combos the Shadow Flare into it. There it is. In comes and... Supernova. Uh, his time is slowed. And he doesn't connect with anything. Beautiful. Wait, uh, I mean, it's still, it's still slowed. True. Still hasn't really done anything. Wow, this lasts for a long time. Yeah. What the heck? How long does that last? Wow, it's still going. What the hell? He, did, okay. I, he didn't do anything wow, with it, but... Really long. Yeah. The <sighs> potential of doing something was there. He had all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the issue is that the stage has such a high ceiling. There's so much empty space that Villager could just uh, go around, especially with how floaty Villager is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, Sephiroth... He generally does better on this stage. I could see him getting at... Nope, he did not use that neutral B. <laughs> nope. Did not feel like it. He's like, no, nah, not today. We'll go. But okay, we don't need to win today, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. Like, he he just needs to connect with, like, a solid neutral B. Or get some solid up smashes, octo slashes. Just anything to really rack this damage up on Villager. But he's just not doing it. Oh, well, oh, see, no. Oh. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! Uh, that's unfortunate. And yeah, now it's all up to the Joker. Hi. Right, well, Joker has been memed on in past seasons. So let's see if he can um, redeem himself here. Oh, uh, Villager connects to the final smash. I don't know if that. I think this depletes the timer for uh, Joker's. Potentially, yeah. But like obviously the Ender Dragon is doing easy, but you still have all these other characters to go. Mm -hmm. So we might see a um, a gold status villager here. Yeah, I maybe, think we've already seen maybe it. Maybe higher. <laughs> yeah. And plus with the Meloetta from Sephiroth, right? So. Yeah, I, I, I don't think... I mean, like, Joker can get his final smash and that will auto-kill if he manages to keep this damage up. Mm -hmm. uh, so he can do that, but I I don't think I don't think he's making it through Inkling. If we're being honest, I'm not sure yeah, he's making it through they, Villager. Yeah, like if he, like if he makes it through Vill Villager, yes, that's fine. And Inkling maybe you can find a way, but then you have Kirby there in the back as well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is just like that, and you have a character on the enemy team who just pops off. Yeah, and um... We do see Inkling. In comes then. Inkling. Inkling has Forgetful Style Ender Dragon. Mm -hmm. And there's the side smash. There it is, yep. Well, alright. Uh, so, Inkling... Well Taking out a uh, Joker and Eesh. yeah, that was a uh, big yikes for uh, Third Wheels, who were previously undefeated in the preseason. Mm -hmm. Well, one of these teams had to lose for the first time today. Sure, and but like I figured it would wheels, be closer. Was... Yeah, I thought it'd be like a 1-0, maybe 2-0, right? Mm -hmm. In in team store here. Yeah. Um. But wow, yeah, Belgium is just on a different level today. Mm-hmm. Like. I mean, I kind of get it with Sonic's chip damage, but, like, Sephiroth really should have done better. Sephiroth really should have connected with yes. anything. Any move yes. would have like, killed. He had all that time well, in the Final Smash, right? He had all the time in the world to do something, and he just didn't yeah. capitalize. Like, he really could have just... Like, he just needs to charge up his neutral B to all the way, and that will kill. <laughs> yeah, yes, like, just hit one button. It's all he had to do. Yeah. Granted... <laughs> Uh, given how he died, I get why he was hesitant about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so yeah, and if I'm pint size, I'm thinking, who can stop us at this point? Yeah, that's a good question. Like they've they had three, they... they've had three fairly dominant performances. Mm -hmm. So um. Yeah, taking out. Yeah. What was that? Oh. I was just taking out um, some strong characters, strong teams like um, 
Goodwill's um, mm -hmm. Super Smash Masters and mm -hmm. um, Retro. So, all strong teams, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess let's move on to the next match. Let's do it. So, match four is the Athletes versus Beast Battalion. Mm -hmm. So, the Athletes benched Wario, and Beast Battalion benched Lucario. Yes. So, what are you thinking here? This is your team. Yeah, um, they're the same since the um, inception here. And I'm nervous, I'm kind of happy that they did bench Wario, but we still kept his, like, you know, Duck Hunt there and Mimic can do a lot of damage, so we are we're hoping, right? Um, we have Peach in, and we have a new build on DDD, so I decided to see how those two do. Right. And, um, a so sort of, a uh, looking at stuff, Min Min seems to have a new build, I think. Okay. And, um, yeah. I mean, it is interesting. Uh,. Sort of the long term, starting with me, Gunner, right? <laughs> Who's uh, normally a pretty good closer, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, I guess let's just get into it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, so the athletes versus uh, Beast Battalion. Let's go. Let's do it. So we're starting off with Sans versus Incineroar. Alright. Two pretty strong characters in going right. Mm -hmm. So this would be a good matchup. Yes. Um, yeah, like Incineroar is a, one of the strongest close range fighters. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Me Gunner is one of the strongest uh, long range fighters. Yes. And they're using the, um, the uh, stage that Villains was known for using. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. um, yeah, kind of over. yeah, that seems to be what athletes have uh, gone with for right now. Um, I think they used this last week as well. And uh, right now, it's fairly even, and Cinnora has gotten a bit of a lead, but you can never count uh, uh, Me Gunner out. Me Gunner running a uh, strategist style roll casket, shine sprite, and wheezing, so massive boosts to everything that shoots out. <laughs> yep. Oh, and that there is. goes oh, wow. Me Gunner taken out by Incineroar. Incineroar running, forgetful style, Halberd, Reaper, and Repat. Mm -hmm. And now yeah, we've got here. Yeah, we've got Min Min who's running equipment style Ender Dragon and is on CPU eight. Uh, Incineroar getting a revenge off on one of the Ender Dragon flames. Uh, that's a danger that you run into. And that revenge can do a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, I think he still has it up. I don't think he's uh, done anything with it since then. No, he, he did use it. No. Okay, anyway. Yeah, he did use it. Yeah. It was hard to tell with all the fire. Of course. It's, yeah. it's understandable. Yeah, and now that uh, the... I mean, uh, Min Min's gotten Incineroar up to 120%. That means she can kill with her uh, Megawatt. Yeah, well, you can kill almost anything at this point, right? Yeah. Um, uh, her, uh, her up smash will, will kill her, uh, whatever. Uh, and Cinderella has his final smash on deck, but he, she, he's taken wow. out by the up smash. But still, a lot of damage, and the best yeah. probably could kill from here, right? Uh, yeah, I think so, with how, with how the ceiling on this stage works. Uh, Jigglypuff running Boulder Style, Rock Mario, and Polar Bear. Uh, so both of these are level 8, oddly yep. enough, and there goes Min Min. Uh, Beast Battalion has a pretty definitive lead, but in comes Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt is a menace, as we've seen in past seasons. Yeah, so Duck Hunt runs a uh, brick wall style Meloetta and Shedinja, so you've got to be careful. You've got to be aggressive. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> uh, Duck Hunt will just heal that all back. Yep, and so far it seems to be on that playstyle of more aggressive for Jelly mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, it helps that she's not having so much trouble getting in, uh, yes, thanks yes. to her he uh, to polar bear. Yeah, he lets use the projectiles to keep people away. Yeah, and she's not having any of that right now. Yeah, exactly. And she's already gotten it up to seventy percent. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Could have him up to 80 soon, which would put him in rest range. Yep, and he is in that range now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he hasn't gotten Jigglypuff over 40 yet. Yeah. Which is that, honestly surprising. Usually, uh, does pretty good chip damage with his, uh, with his cannon stuff, but of course, uh, that's kind of difficult with how it... Oh, the oh. rest, and she's going to take... Oh! Uh, <laughs> yep, you don't want to charge up... Don't charge up next to Jigglypuff while she's resting. She will wake up. <laughs> yes. That is not the plan. And now we have, um, was it Me Brawler this Yeah, Me Brawler. Oh, Jigglypuff connecting oh. with another rest, but you do not want... <laughs> Uh, uh, Me Brawler has that uh, side special, which is so deadly. It goes through brick wall. It, it goes through. I mean, it goes through anything. It goes through shield. Yeah. So you do not want to get hit by. You do not want to get hit by that side B. Wow. Okay. And uh, Jimmy Puff getting a grab of her own. Uh, she's almost at her final smash. This could uh, attack on oh. some decent damage onto Me Brawler. Does it do anything? Let's see. Oh, it does. Yeah, it kills. It does. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. One of the worst final smashes in the game does manage to get a kill because of how she used it in the hole. Sort of in that divot there where you can't escape. Now I have Terry with his gold Maya, I believe. Yeah, and Terry. I mean, Jigglypuff has taken out three people. Terry. Yes. I mean, Terra will probably take her out soon. Uh, she's, pretty, so. she's pretty light, and she's out of gold Mario. And he has his own gold Mario. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. But uh, there damage is. done. I think this is <laughs> these battalions match to lose right now. Yeah, it's just, well, it's just a matter of yeah, it's just a matter of seeing how good the rest of these characters are. <laughs> and we do have some test builds here with um, DDD, so mm -hmm. things should go south pretty fast. Yeah, uh, yeah, Pichu already up at 100%. Yikes. Yeah, but right now it's all about chip right now, right? Mm -hmm. um, just buying time for, um, assumingly, for Pokemon Trainer to um, clean up. Yeah, I mean, he's managed to get uh, Terry up to 90, up to 100. Yeah. I mean, right. Terry has it all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's okay. what's going to happen. But, like, that's still so got Terry that's up to 100. That's... Yeah, because he had 7% when Pichu came in, so now that 105 here. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Still, this final smash isn't gonna oh, do boy. very much, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll only bring the up yeah. to 24%. Yeah, that's, that's not that's not too bad. <laughs> and Diddy is very, like, really playing uh, uh, safe here. He's trying to avoid getting hit by those super specials at all costs. Yeah. Because they are quite scary. I haven't done anything really in return, which is mm -hmm. the biggest issue for. Um, yeah. I don't Italian, know if he's yeah. touched Terry yet. Terry was at 109. Um, he's done. I have five, uh, four percent, I believe. Four yeah. Percent, okay. But still. Some damage. He's already at about a hundred. Yeah. Oh, there's some damage. Okay. The power geese are connecting, and uh, Terry has brought uh, D to D up to his damage level. Yep. Oof. And, uh... Yeah, Ooh. I mean, DDD needs to connect with things. He connects with the back air, bringing Terry up to 133, and he survives the power geezer. Wow. <laughs> Teching off the wall. DDD doing very well with those techs, but he can't tech here. And he doesn't connect with that upbeat, which would have killed. Oh, and the power geezer takes him out. All right, now it's all up to um, Ivy Sway here. We've seen this with, with Terry Isla. before, where he just... <laughs> takes through oh. three people, but... That is. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw with his Dormario, Mario doesn't care too much. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Oof. And... So... There were some... Wow. There were some good performances, and there were some bad performances, I would say. Yes. So good performances, obviously, is Terry and Puff. Bad performances is DDD, just as a whole. And, yeah. uh... I mean, Pichu, wow. Pichu did 100 damage. You can't really fault yeah. that. Uh, no, that's what we expect uh, to do, right? Yeah. Uh, Duck Hunt did not do much. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. not much at all. Um, yeah. Talk to Sound, walk through everything he did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Me brawler, uh, that's that's fair. Uh, dealt, dealt solid damage to Puff and then got final smashed. You, you can't you can't really go much better than that. Yep. Uh, sometimes things just happen, but yeah, I think uh, Duck Hunt definitely needs some work. DDD definitely needs some work. Yes. And yeah, that's that on that. Ah, uh, bless Puff, you know. <laughs> Puff yeah. is great. So, uh, ready for the next match? Let's do it. So, match five is Team Villain versus Team Arsenal. So, Villain has benched um, Dark Samus, and Arsenal has benched Falco. Okay. So, some of the weaker characters that I remember, right? Yeah. In the past two, some of the others. Uh, Dark Samus has actually been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Dark Samus has been holding her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd get Meta Knight slightly in that same boat, I guess. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I mean, looking at. I don't know, looking at the lineups, like, Bowser is in the back, which is never uh -huh. something you want to see. <laughs> Just saying that in the back, menacing and staring at you. It's yeah. Like, hey, you beat all the other people. Now you have the actual boss. Right. Like I, I think they need to get Arsenal needs to get a lead if they want to uh, win here. Like they need to yeah, get a lead before they reach Bowser. Yeah. Ideally, you want to have like a two v one, maybe mm -hmm. a three v one, right? Yeah. Because um, um, not many characters can one v one Bowser. Yeah. Something interesting is that both of these are fairly similar stage styles. Like, uh, Wily's Castle is a battlefield style, and Mementos has a slope in the middle, but otherwise it's a fairly simple platform. So it'll be interesting to see which team uh, uses those better. Definitely. So let's just get into it. Team Villain versus let's Team Arsenal. Let's see some um, fictional characters fight each other. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I think and... Ridley versus um, King will be very interesting. Yeah, Ridley is running equipment style Ender Dragon, King K. Rool is running Forgetful style Naloetta and Shedinja. So sort of I the... Just uh... Maletta... hmm? I guess Maloetta would be able to um, help mitigate that Ender Dragon slightly, yeah. so that's nice for him. And the Shedinja to uh, increase the defense. Yes. But I mean, you really don't want to be high damage against Ridley. Like, he is, he's got <laughs> no. a lot of moves that can... Uh, that can devastate you once you're up there. Yeah, I saw last week against um, uh, Pokemon China. They were yeah. able to kill him any percent, essentially. Mm -hmm. Oh, and dragging K. Rool across the stage, already getting up, up to around 80%, yeah. and K. Rool has barely touched Ridley. Yeah, one more of those, and maybe just be doomed for um, King over here. Yeah, but of course, uh, Ender Dragon has run out, so K. Rool have had will have a bit of an easier time getting in. Yeah, and if we can buy time for the Meloetta to start stacking, that'd be helpful a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't imagine Ridley was going to give him time for that. Yeah, I mean, he's got Ridley up to about uh, 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be worse. Uh, he's in the lead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. That one that, up smash. That was a huge hit. <laughs> was that 25% on that hit? Wow. Yeah. I mean, Carol's got some huge hits, and equipment style lowers your defense. That's why King Carol is one of the um, strongest members of um, Arsenal. Yeah, he's kind of been one of the ringers for a while. And he takes out Ridley, Damn. and he's only at 60%. Wow. Yeah, from across the map here. Mm -hmm. And in comes a uh, Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant running Tank Style, Great Fairy, and Happy Mask Salesman. And this is that lead that um, we were talking about that he wanted to do. You have to maintain it now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, K. Rool has brought it to an even damage percent. Yeah, and then taking a lead here, wow. Mm -hmm. And Meloetta stacking up now, down in the 50s from when he started at 60. And, and K. Rool almost had his final smash if he gets that on Piranha Plant. Uh, before Piranha Plant gets clo too close to that, uh, Great Fairy, then it could kill. Mm -hmm. So if he just connects with it, now he does! This I, might kill I Piranha Plant. Yeah, I, I don't believe this wouldn't kill, right? Well, uh, yeah, k kills him uh, right, yeah. As, right as she gets the uh, Great Fairy. Yep. 
Alright, let's see if Meta Knight can um, fail a little bit better. Yeah, uh, right now we've got a... Uh, we're on uh, Team Arsenal's home map, which is uh, Battlefield Wily Castle. Um, Meta Knight, I mean, is just gonna have to start putting in some work. Tyrol hasn't really hit Meta Knight so far. Yeah, which is, uh, and obviously Meloetta is helping for Meta Knight here. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so they have the uneven. And Meta Knight running a Meloetta Forgetful Style and Tails. So that up special is going to do a lot of damage if you connect with one. Uh, possibly kill even, if he uses up yes. special correctly. Uh, right now, he's just trying to keep uh, K roll from falling below 100%. Yeah, he's doing a good job with that. Now you want to find a, a finishing blow here. Yeah. Uh, there comes the up special. Got wow, that is. that is what that tails does for you. Yes. And in comes Wolf. Uh, Arsenal still has that lead. Uh, Wolf is going to need to do good damage to bring it back. Uh, Wolf running Demon Style, Majora's Mask, and Great Fairy. Okay. How has Wolf done in um, over the, the preseason so far? I mean, he's been fine. Last week he kind of got killed instantly by Zero Suit Samus, so it's hard to gotcha. tell. Oh. Yeah, it's not understandable. It is Zero Suit. <laughs> yeah, and... Um... I mean, Meta Knight's already got Wolf up to 50, but Wolf did start with 30, so that's not yes. entirely indicative. And I mean, he's almost at his final smash. Mm -hmm. Th that that could be a major factor here. Definitely. Then yeah, a couple more hits, and that could be a um, a kill in final smash, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wolf is at 68%. Oh, oh wait, that he's is taken wow. out without the final smash, and it's an even fight. Wow. Uh, Meta Knight yeah, has his final smash on deck, and in comes Mega Man. And there's the whole lead that King K. Roll um, did, right? I think Meta Knight, yeah, Meta Knight runs out of his final smash, but it probably wouldn't have done much to Mega Man anyway. Mm -hmm. Not that slow percent, right? Yeah. Uh, Mega Man running Strategist Style, Ho Oh, and Phantom Thieves. So, um. Yeah, I mean, just a little more percent, and Meta Knight will have brought it to an even game. Yeah, wow. I need, I need to take back my statement. He probably heard me saying one of the weaker characters on um, villains. He was not a fan of that statement. Yeah, but of course, uh, Mega Man's got that air shooter. Uh, and he's got, I mean, just a lot of anti-air moves that can yeah. really mess with... Mega Man. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. About to say. He, Mega Man is trying. <laughs> He is He's trying to best. get rid of uh, Meta Knight. He's doing every, every trick in the book right now. Mm -hmm. Nothing's uh, but working I mean, Meta, Knight, Meta Knight's such a strong recovery character is the thing. Yeah. He oh! That, that oh, worked! Yeah, he went into free fall because of his side special. Wow, okay then. And in comes and Mewtwo. Mewtwo coming in. Yeah, running Gravity Style, Wheezing, and Melting. I was going to say Shadow Mewtwo mm -hmm. from the, um, the Pokemon games. Yes. It's slightly different. Yeah. Shadow Mewtwo has some crystals. Yes. The special magic crystals. And, uh... Um, Decent damage so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. You've got, uh... I mean, Mewtwo's got the fully charged uh, Shadow Ball on deck. That's mm -hmm. always a danger, but he misses it. Ah, uh, I remember those days. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's, and uh, well, uh, Arsenal has that lead they were looking for. Yep, that three-man lead we were saying. I, I think this is anyone's game still. Yeah. And, and it's really well. interesting. Hmm? When you say it's anyone's game and he's down by two characters. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, Bowser is running Big B style, Polar Bear Shedinja, oh, Mega Man missing his final smash. That's not what you want to see if you are on Team Arsenal. And uh, Bowser really just needs one good smash attack, one good side special, anything will take out Mega Man at this percent. Yeah, just drop kick him and he goes flying. Yeah. Yeah, and just the up tilt takes him out. Yeah. Simple as enough, right? Now, Diddy is a strong character. 
Did it, did he, he's back on his old build, Boulder style against Howard. He honestly could take out Bowser with that. Yeah, this Howard could really be a, a bit faster here. Mm -hmm. He's at the survive long enough to have to use it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a, the name of the game right now is survive. I mean, still, he hasn't even been touched really. Like, well, like maybe 10% since City stepped on. Yeah, um... Like, D Diddy really just has not done much. He's tried throwing the banana peels. I mean, it's the thing is, it's just Bowser's armor. It just goes through whatever. It doesn't matter what you yeah. use. But, but right now, the, Diddy uh, comes about to use that final smash. Oh. And this could kill Bowser. That could. It will hit, right? And it will hit. It, it, and an Oxen pretty far off stage. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get, get back. It. Wow. And well Arsenal done, with awesome. a decisive a decisive win over Villain, taking their first win of the preseason. Yeah, very nice. Very nicely done. Mm -hmm. So, um... Okay, I think Mewtwo, <laughs> Mewtwo was a bit of an issue. Yeah. yeah, he's a little bit of a Yeah. And then you also thought that plant was an issue as well. Didn't build do anything really against some um, king over there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think both of those characters could be looked at a bit. Mm -hmm. Did Miji even use his mill tank much? Um don't believe so. I think I, 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 I think I saw it a couple of times, but I don't I don't remember him using it effectively. Like like he may have tried, but I know that um he died not knocked up by um, Meta Man a few times. Mm -hmm. With that little um, tornado thing. Yeah, that's true. So um yeah, on to the final match of the week. All right. And that final match is the Beefcakes versus Team Excalibur. All right. So uh, both of these teams have had pretty good preseasons. Both have been one and one. Yep. Um, in terms of benches, Beefcakes have benched Zero Suit Samus which is uh, potentially a downgrade because she did go through two characters last week. And Excalibur benched uh, Pyra, who jumped off the stage uh, last week, so... Ah. You know what? That's fair. That, that's fair. That's understandable. Yeah. Take a week off, you know. Mm -hmm. Think about what you did, you know. It's in the corner. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts here? Um, definitely two hard-hitting teams, right? You know, mm -hmm. people like Ganondorf on one side, yep. and then you have people like um, Ike on the other, right? Yeah. So definitely a lot of big hits will be coming in, and I'm really interested to see how that, um, there's some of the, the, um, the wider characters, right? Like, the Dark Pit isn't the heaviest character, so is he going to be able to withstand that, um, those hard hits coming his way? Um, mm -hmm. But I think it'll be really close. I, I, I want to say this will be a 1-0. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see it being very close. There's also the issue of uh, a potentially stage jank with how uh, Halberds, uh, with how uh, Beefcake's home map works, so. Yes, yeah. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's just get into it. Let's do it. So, the Beefcakes versus Team Excalibur. All right. So we're starting off with Snake versus Dark Pit. Snake is running Demon Style Geese Howard, while Dark Pit is running Air Style Ender Dragon. Okay. The Ender Dragon will just help um, Snake get into that Geese Howard, which um, may not be the best play, but we'll see how it bears. Yeah, I mean, it depends how good Pit is at surviving. Yes. Uh, Stuff like uh, Snake's Final Smash. We've seen people survive it in the past. Yeah, yeah, some happy feet going on here. And Dark Pit has not been hit. He has not even been looked at. And as these Howard coming in, but no percent means he's not gonna really kill. What right? you'd imagine? I mean, uh, well, it might. You know, well if he jumps up like that, maybe. It did. Yep. Of course, of course he jumps up. All right. <laughs> From no percent. What? All right. That's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Cloud, I think definitely Cloud wants to take out a Snake before... Oh, uh, well, it's a bit too late, ain't it? Well, we're here now. It's, it's... Let's just charge this limit. Why not? Much. I've got time. I've got and time. I'm... And okay. there goes Snake. Yeah. That's an even well, match. Thought... What a start to this match. Mm -hmm. Alright. And now we've got uh, Donkey Kong versus Cloud. Uh, Donkey Kong is forgetful style Sothis. Okay. And Cloud is Bigby style Azura Balloon Fighter. Oh, Balloon Fighter, interesting. Yeah, so I'll help him get back to stage a bit easier with those higher jumps. Nice recovery um, help there. Mm -hmm. And Cloud's almost at his limit. If he gets his limit and connects with the. Okay, I mean, that's his thing to do. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay damage. Sure. But yeah, uh, right now Excalibur is kind of behind. Uh, not yeah. by much, it's mostly even. Mm -hmm. But uh, Donkey Kong is uh, taking it to Cloud a little bit, especially with uh, Donkey Kong Sotha still on deck. Yes. Now, now with Donkey Kong being a heavier character, he's not going to be flying off the stage too mm -hmm. easily. So. We want to find a way to um, get him out before that Sothis pops, right? Right. And, and there, there, there's the Sothis. <laughs> well, it's almost for that plan. Yeah, and now we're going to Cloud Sea of All Rest. All right. Yo, this is a fun map. I like this. Mm -hmm. It's home map. Uh, Cloud already getting 30% uh, uh, on Donkey Kong, but he is over 100 right now, so he's got to be careful. Yeah, one hit will be able to just knock him away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, granted, Cloud has Big B style, which uh, increases his weight, but like, still, Donkey Kong is such a heavy hitter. Yeah. No, that's yeah, this high percent will just walk right pa past that. Oh, like that. That's and, a high, that's a heavy yep. hit. Yep, that's a lot of heavy hits. All right. And in comes uh, Ike. Yeah. Ike is a strong character. He should <sighs> be able to um. That's an up smash. Make this, yeah, make this pretty even really qu really quickly. Um. So Ike is, Ike yeah, Ike is running runner style, quick man, and polar bear. Okay, got an armor then. We'll help him do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's connecting with those smash attacks, but still hasn't gotten a kill on Donkey Kong, which he desperately needs if he wants his team to stay in it. Yeah, he wanted that, that one smash attack. Oh, and up. there we go. Yeah, beautiful. And now we've got Ganon. Now I have Ganon. Yeah, Gravity oh. style, Meloetta, and Shadincha. Yes. Sedinja. That's interesting. A lot of people are using that Meloetta and Sedinja combo. We saw it on um, Duck Hunt earlier. I mean, Sedinja boosts your defense by so much, and like Meloetta just like counteracts the handicap so well. Mm -hmm. That I mean, Very it's nice all combo. honestly a no-brainer in, in some cases. But right now, Ike is taking it to Ganondorf. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't care about that that defense buff. Oh, okay. He does recover. That could have been really bad. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, if you do get a hit, you do get a second chance. So if you hit wow. with a side special, you get a second chance to recover. And I just spamming those up smashes and mm -hmm. dealing massive damage with them. And Ganondorf tried to get a smash attack in of his own, but he wasn't able to. Mm -hmm. And we're going to Halberd. Uh, I, I can easily get a kill right now. Oh, definitely. And... Nope, not yet. No, uh, Ganondorf's gonna make it back, but the up smash takes him is. out. Up smash, up smash, wow. up smash. Name of the oh, game. Oh, that might be it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just, just light tap. Just to tap him a little bit. And now we've got uh, Krom versus Roy. Krom is running Runner style, Halberd and Golgan. Roy is running Forgetful style, Gold Mario. It is an even match. Now it's basically at Stalba versus at Stalba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, two e echoes. They are, they do have the same code base on them. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top in this uh, battle of twins. Uh, Roy almost doesn't make it back, but thankfully he has yeah. enough magnet hands to get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roy's kind of kicking over. Oh, right unfortunate oh. with Crom's up special. All right, well, little match is all on you. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we can we've seen Little Mac do some very strong things. Oh, oh yeah, he can definitely um, get some knockouts here. Mm -hmm. No pun intended, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, but he's unfortunately he's having trouble with any of his multi hits because of Roy's Gold Mario. Yep, that's Little. the beauty of the uh, the spirit. Little Mac is running Bigby style Mithra and Might. Okay. So he's going to uh, he's going to be a bit tanky. He's going to have those critical hits, and he's just going to be a bit floatier. Uh, so he has an easier time getting back to back to stage, which is something Little Mac generally has trouble with. Yeah. And yeah, like like it doesn't matter what Little Mac does, Ooh. Roy just yep. powers through it and takes him out. Wow, wow, very nicely done from Roy. Mm -hmm. It didn't even need Robin, who's arguably the strongest member. Yeah. Wow, very impressive stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess from I mean, from Beefcakes, I'd say Snake. Uh, it was unfortunate how he sort of died off of his final smash by going too far off stage. Yes. And he was really pressured down by Dark Pit. I mean, mm -hmm. like, maybe something that isn't just final smash would be better for him, but he does get those kills, so I don't know. Yeah. They say he died at 0%, right? Mm -hmm. And not many other final smashes can do that. Mm -hmm. um. So we've got, I mean, Gandorf and Little Mac honestly just did nothing. Yeah. Like they did not do much. Yeah, they really got, like, clapped to pieces. Mm -hmm. So no, I just ended up smash and just gave Dan Dwarf no time to do anything. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think from Excalibur, pretty much everyone we saw did well. Yes, yeah. No. Yeah, Robin over there with zero damage done, so I need to check her out. <laughs> Let him out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that's all for this week. So, um, next week is going to be the first week of the main season. Next week it's going to count. Yes. So make sure to get your lineups build, make sure, um, your lineups in, make sure you know, uh, who you're benching that first week, since, uh, you can't bench the same character twice in a row. Phew. Yes. And, uh, yeah, that's all for this week. Bye, everyone. See ya.